what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys we're here back with episode three of the great norwegian adventure um somebody went home the one woman i forgot her name you know she was the 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 one that did all the dressing up and all that stuff she or that was her job to fix people's styles and clothes and stuff like that but i've been enjoying this so far and different things like that uh as always shout out to fun in norway y'all make sure to check out their channel hey they got me the subtitles everything make sure to give the video a like but hey episode three this has been good i've been enjoying this one for sure so check it out Let's see what we got for this week's oh yeah don't forget this is on my patreon as well i gotta edit because of copyright and all that on youtube but the full episode will be on patreon link is in the description or it's in the comments and the description but uh Thor the traveler on patreon våre ni amerikanske nice. helter är er för vi det går i gudranstallen Gården drives av Øystein Rudi, og den har vært i Rudi-familien i 18 generasjoner. Dang, 18 generations. Her skal deltakerne bevise at de mestrer livet på bygda, med utfordringer som involverer husdyr, traktorkjøring og bygdefest. Mm. 18 generations. Oh, smell that. Mm-hmm. We're in the country. <laughs> oh, but it's so beautiful. Everything here is beautiful. Out in the country. Er møtet med Gubbrandsdalen ekstra spesielt. Det var nettopp herfra hans tippoldefar Iver Åseng utvandret på Oh, wow. Du føler deg hjemme nå? Jeg føler. Jeg kan se hvorfor jeg lover mountains nå, hvis det er hvor min familie kommer fra. Jeg har alltid ønsket å lover denne slags terreng. Det er bare perfekt. Jeg følte en slags varm, glad følelse. Bare å imagine at dette skulle være plass av mine røtter. I can smell the snow from way far, <laughs> mixed in with that manure and fresh grass. Mm. <laughs> the smell of the snow mm-hmm. off the mountain, and it and it cuts through the rest of those earthy smells like some kind of a fine perfume layer. You know, it's it's really fantastic. Ah. Oh. Welcome to Welcome to Rudy Farm. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to be here. So we're going to be your host for a couple of days now. Beautiful. Right. Farm. The girls are staying uh, just this direction, uh-huh. and the boys can see the stubber behind this first one. It's uh, another stubber. It's my size. Uh, <laughs> I'm stretched from the. Uh, yeah, see, that's what I'm. Yeah, it has to be just fine. They must cool. have grown short people up here to be in the <laughs> actual same valley, and, and picturing their life here. I feel like I come from someplace now. You know, I, I have roots that before roots. this week I never had. Joe, this is home. I ain't never heard roots sound like roots. Let's do it. Should we go find the girls? See what they're up to? I yeah, can't wait to hear good. Maya. I wonder how many nails she's lost in the cracks already. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really cute when I first got in, <laughs> but to think of us actually sleeping there for real, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. You doing okay? <laughs> she's like, hold up. You look really, really uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the bag? Okay, where's the TV? Hey, well, maybe this is just so where's the TV? Where our luggage, and then they'll take us to the five-star hotel afterwards. <laughs> I'm not used to sleeping <laughs> outside, so I hope it stays warm and um, that the animals don't all decide to attack at once. <laughs> Why would they attack? Deltagarna har nu fått sig till rätta på Rudi går, och det är på tide med ukens lagkonkurrensa. Ja. Norge var en bonnenation. I 1950 arbetet över 20 procent av oss fremdeles i jordbruket, och flertal av normen bodde i utkantkommuner. Men i de sista 60 år har genomsnittligt 8 jordbrukare oh, var eneste dag, och nu bor flertal av normen runt de största byarna. Likväl längte många oss tillbaka till livet på landet. I Oslo brukar man marka, i Kristiansand svabergarna och i bergen löfter flöjen inbyggarna upp. Ja, det nog det happen with all the fun. Det är er nämligen allt det som inte är er by. Vi är er bönder och vi är er stolta av det. Vi är er bönder i framgång. Ta farmers from the north. Hello. 
Amerikanerna är er delt in i två lag. Lag A som er består av Joseph, Kari, Maya, Doug och Debra och lag B som består av Clinton, Signe, Lagen. Grant och Matthew. It's time for you guys to say hello to some local characters which you see over there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen up. Both teams will have to get the cows through the opening that's on the other side of the field. The winning team oh, will be the now, one then. that gets the cows through the opening the fastest. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. I just now f- saw a milk cow for the first time in my life. <laughs> I think we'll do okay. I really think we have a plan um, to get through this. I don't like big animals, honestly, so they kind of scare me a bit. Um, but I think I think we're going to do big it and now plan together, and we're going to try to stick with it. Kai, you know you were, you have those calls. How did that call go specifically? And then they'll just come right along. Because cows are really sensitive. I don't think they're going to come to that. They're psychic. They can pick up on <laughs> what energy you're putting out. I we got to just think. Take, it, take it slow and just really be Those cows going to look at her like she's crazy if they do. sense the herd mentality and move the energy. And I think women are really good at doing that. Fordi lag A har en deltager mer enn lag B, har det blitt trukket strå om hvem på laget som må stå over konkurransen. Det ble Joseph, og han må derfor nøye seg med å heie på laget sitt fra sidelinja. Joseph, you have to wait oh, over there yeah. and chair. Right. Okay, you guys. Yep. Team A. Well, they not need his help. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Ready. Yeah. All right. Girl power. Girl power. Yeah. Yeah. Maya gave me a, a fingernail to give us some power. So yeah, it's me and the girls. So it's just all the girls getting the uh, two guys, <laughs> two girls versus four girls. I think we're gonna do okay. Go. Come on, guys. Go. Good luck. Come on. I, I would have had Joseph Go. in there. Do you wish you were up there? Yeah, I do. I think I could help out my team. He could have. I thought he would have been able to. So they're getting behind them and trying to work them toward us. And then we'd like to see them run right along the fence line. Oh. Interesting competition. Cotty was good. She came up behind the cows and they all just filed down to, towards the gate. Okay, maybe that did work. I don't know. Lag A får kyrne raskt ned mot innhegningen, men å få dem gjennom porten viser seg å være vanskeligere. Uh-oh. Spesielt for Doug, som er lille. Oh, the cows are moving. I saw they were going down. I knew they were going to stay along the fence. I kind of hoped they would go in, and then I saw they were turning the corner towards me. Oh, they... Don't stop them. Uh-oh. I love me some Douglas, but he is not good with cows. He was just kind of like... <laughs> I had that split second where I can jump in front of him or not die. Well, they're not bulls. They're not going to hit you like a bull. Okay, one of them went through. All of them. Maybe you need the the other woman to come and do that. That was close. That was so close for all they could have all went nothing through. about it. I saw them just veer off. That kind of sucked, you know, having to watch the cattle just scatter away. Nothing you can do about it. It clicked in after I missed the first time that... I'm not going to lose this, but i got to be more aggressive. I've got to yeah. jump in front of these cows. I'll go all the way around. Okay, okay. Doug On the sprint. Back up the hill a second time and get in the woods and bring him back down a second time. Go ahead, Doug. You got it. I really Dang. think they're going to stay along the fence. So I'll wait for you guys to get into place. Go all the way around. Make sure they're down there. Okay, Doug is ready now. He looks scared, too. They stare at you. They have these big eyes and they're just staring. <laughs> and you're like, what are they going to do? And you don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to run at you? Are they going to... Oh, that was you were like, Well, okay, because I was scared. She, this, she's my oh, friend. Okay. But there, this is 25 cows that are this big staring at me. I'm like, I don't want them to charge me. <laughs> and I, uh, I said, go here, me. Go here, me. Go home, silly cows. Yeah, no. and did they respond to it? Uh, they went... I'm not going by you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did an awesome job for me never having seen a cow. Oh I thought I did a good goodness. job. And I thought the cows pretty much followed where we wanted them to go. But then Clint is on the other team and he's a professional cow herder. So <laughs> probably the Texas boy. It was either Texas close guy. or I yeah, I I hope we won. 
Clint uh, from Texas, and he's been around cattle more than the rest of us, so we thought we should listen to him. What I'm thinking is maybe two people have food in the front, and then two people behind big, kind of bringing up the bag. rear. Okay. Oh. All right, Let's Team B. Let's see. Team B. All right, we're going to rock this. On three, Team B. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> team B. All right, you guys. All right. Okay. Ready, set, go! Go, 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 go! Uh-oh. Let's see. Clint. Grant and Matt, like, took off. And they were moving up the hill pretty quick, and I couldn't even see where the cows are. And so I felt like, oh, oh no. shoot, she falling. Oh, Clink, I'm coming up behind and bring up the rear. That sucks. I haven't run up a hill that big in quite some time. The other team closed the gate. <laughs> that did seem pretty fast. I mean, my heart was pumping. I mean, running up the steepest hill I've run up in, in years. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> that was good teamwork and worked out better than I thought it was going to. So, First of all, you guys did extremely well. Mm. <laughs> Both teams managed to get all the cows through. All right. Yeah. Good job, you guys. One team did it in eight minutes and 42 seconds. And uh, one team did it in 15 minutes and 12 seconds. Ooh. The fastest team was... Team B. Team B. Yeah! I'm about to say, Team A kind of... They had to circle back around. They're Tomorrow, safe. You will get to go rafting. Yeah! Oh. As for the losing team, you will have to go through an individual competition, which involves engines and partying. I'll say no more. Uh -oh. Engines and partying? Yes. Partying <laughs> in American is like going out, getting drunk, hanging out with your friends, dancing, and drinking a lot. Here, it's probably. Um, <laughs> Killing something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she said, what? Every time I've tried to think about what's coming next on a competition, I've been wrong. So at this point in time, I've given up trying to figure them out. I'm just going to do it when it comes. Implement. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll be all right. Not to worry. After a long day, will the participants now get some food? And on the road today, they serve a delicatessa. Oh, what they get to eat today? They ate well the other day. Welcome to Bors. Team A, tomorrow you'll get a second chance to prove that you can survive the life on the Norwegian countryside. But for now, you can just sit back and relax and mm -hmm. enjoy because I have prepared a special treat for you. It's a traditional Norwegian delicacy. Please take the lid off. Uh oh. When we lifted the deal off the plate, the cow or pig down, head. There's like half a face on my plate. There was a an, an initial shock. Lindy, you don't look too well. <laughs> no, no, it's a, a face on my plate. <laughs> look at those lips on that baby. I tried not to vomit. I was swallowing. I was breathing. I was closing my eyes. It was gross. These are Norwegian sheep's head. Oh, or sheep. small lahova, as we say in Norwegian. Small lahova. Small lahova. And you have to dig for the good meat around the jaw and around the lips and around the eyes. And after you've eaten all the meat, you have to scoop the eye out and put it in your mouth 
and it's gonna melt in your mouth and uh, <laughs> a little stone is gonna get left there and you have to spit it out to get the pling on your plate. And the eye, it's the dessert, it's the delicacy. Remember that what? you are fighting for the Norwegian Spirit Award. Good luck, bon appetit. Thing and they wait to the eyeball and <laughs> Dang, that's a big eyeball right there. She about to throw up. <laughs> I know that's a delicacy and I respect the whole tradition thing, but it's my personal battle. I mean, I was gagging. <laughs> Day, she's gonna throw up. <laughs> I just, there's something about them. And eating them, <laughs> I can't even think about it. Can we cut? <laughs> no. <laughs> she really over there gagging. Do not eat sheep's eyeball. I'm begging Dang. you. That's a fear factor type of thing. Thank you, thank you. I wonder if there's any mice in there. Good night, Maya. Good night, dear. Good night, Sydney. Good night, Cardi. Good night, and good night. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Don't say that. She's talking about rats and bed bugs. That'll do fine. Efter pausen blir deltagarna utfordrade i traktorkörning. Rafting i Shoa. Och framföring av klassikern Nej så sjukt har blivit. Nej så sjukt har det blivit. Nej men pinen är slängt eller lätt. What? <laughs> What is she singing? Efter pausen fick vi se deltagarna konkurrera i Q-sanking. Fastest team was team... B. Yeah! De fick också serverat smala hove, något som blev en stor utfordring för Maja. Nu ska tapplaget ut i en individuell konkurrens, där det avgörs vem som kommer att hem. Uh oh. Another day, Joe. We ready? The sheep over there. Oh, they got a shower outside. The shower outdoors was one of the best showers I've ever had. Another good way to start a morning. That water gotta be cold. Did y'all hear a lot of sheep? <laughs> I just heard so many sheep like going past. I heard. Bah, bah, like a gazillion <laughs> times this morning. Oh, guys, this could be the last day one of us is here. Someone's going home, and that makes me never be waking up on one. It's awesome to be on the winning team this week. I'm relieved I do not have to fight another challenge to stay. Hey, you got the oh, oh, dang. <laughs> I felt bad to lose. <laughs> <Stopped over the-rafting. laughs> Kind of bummed me out, even though I didn't do anything. I'm really excited about going rafting, seeing all these little tributaries from these big rivers and all the crazy waterfalls. That would be cool going rafting. Well, I'm feeling really refreshed today. Uh, I don't know why I, I sleep better up here than I do in the nice hotels in the city, and it's a beautiful place to wake up to. Staying here for a few days uh, has given me a, a feel for the place that I might not have had before. This is home, to, man. To feel like you're, you're connected or rooted somewhere, it's wonderful. I knew that this is the territory my father's family had come from, but I didn't know what it looked like. And I, I'm still just kind of trying to figure out why didn't anyone ever tell us this was an absolutely beautiful place. I would have thought people would have missed it. I mean, they moved to northern Minnesota where it's it, there's no hills, it's very flat. Mm. 
And you'd think that they would have talked about the good old days when they lived in Norway in those beautiful valley, but I've never heard anyone talk about that. It's just is a mystery to me. Mysterious. But I, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's wonderful uh, to think that that's where I come from. I, I mean, that makes me feel really good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes. Yeah. The winning team, you're off rafting. All right. All right. Nice. Have a good trip. Thank you. Thank you. I'll cross my fingers. Go. As for you guys, since you unfortunately lost the cow competition, you'll have to go through the individual contest. Uh-oh. And first, there will be a tractor race. And the winner of this race will be safe from going home. But the rest of you will go through yet another individual contest. Oh, dang. You'll have to perform a song together oh, with a song. special guest at a local party and a region <laughs> Big Defest. Okay, okay. Big Defest. Woo! <laughs> Hvis <laughs> individuelle konkurranse skal deltagerne komme i kontakt med to grunnpilarer i livet på landet. Bygdefesten og traktoren. Traktoren får alltid være med der det skjer, på jobben, på fest eller på utflukt. Det finnes 225 000 registrerte traktorer i Norge, mm. og nå skal deltagerne forsøke å mestre traktorkjøring. Deltagerne skal kjøre slalom mellom kjeglene frem til målstreken på kortest mulig tid. For oh, hver kjegle wow. som velter, tildeles deltagerne 10 straffesekunder. Joseph, you're safe. You won the Norwegian Spirit Award last week. But remember that you're still competing for next week's immunity. Uh, mm. Now we're going to start with uh, you, Doug. So step onto your tractor. Good luck. So to get started, you just push the brake and turn the uh, key. You have the lights on. Okay. And it's yours. Feel free. Oh my god, I'm uh -oh. terrified. I want to make it to the end. I want to meet my family. I want to see this thing through. I want to see all these adventures. So I will give it everything I have to make it to the end. Ready, set. Eh? Ah! It was weird. It was an adrenaline rush. When I drive, I drive a little car, not a truck. Not that John Deere. So this was definitely an experience. I did okay. <laughs> that was crazy is what that was. All right, I just got to get my man on. <laughs> I don't know. I saw Doug do it. He seemed to do pretty well, so I got to do better than Doug. <laughs> on everything. Get the best I can. Ready? Set? Go! Uh-oh. He thinks my track is sexy. I keep a drive. She look like she do this often. Dang. Yeah! Okay, yeah, she didn't hit a con. <laughs> she lies. Uh, he can't go home anyway, so. Deborah looked like she did the best. Every single cone or just like half of them? <laughs> oh, there's two down for sure. I knocked over three of those things. I don't think that's mm. going to be fast enough. Kari var raskest og kjørte på 1 minutt og 22 sekunder. Men hun veltet hele fire kjegler, Harry. som gir henne 40 sekunder i pluss. Dør oh. kjørte på 1 minutt og 26 sekunder, men han veltet bare en kjegle. Dermed mm. er Doug vinneren. Doug, you are the Doug winner! Doug, the one? What in the world? I really walked into this competition thinking I have no idea what I'm doing. So it was a great joy and relief that I didn't have to perform tonight. Congratulations! Oh thank you. I know he have. So that means Dang, one of the girls home. are going home. The rest of you, you're gonna meet me in one hour down at the concert hall nice. here at the Rudy Guy. Okay? Alright. Okay. Ready. Dang. I mellomtiden er lag B på rafting i Shua. What an incredible experience to do this. I'm a little nervous. It's Go a little rafting. scary, but I think that's going to be the fun. Please keep your helmets and your life jackets on all the time. Don't panic if you fall out of the raft. What's your name, my man? Clint. Okay, I'm going to use you as my example. If you kneel down here, assuming you're outside the raft, just kneel down and hold on to this rope. 
I'm terrified. I think we're all going to die, and I don't know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> so when pulling someone in, always use the shoulder straps of the jacket. Okay, use the shoulder straps. You push them down first. Lean back, and pull it back in the raft like that. All right, you want to give him a hand there? <laughs> That water going fast. Or well, at least the dude on there with him. And this is the type of stuff you see on movies. My grandparents came from Heidel. He never told me it had the world's most awesome rafting. Dang. Yeah, that's an experience right there. Dang. It seemed like we only went like 100 meters, and none of us were expecting this. Oh, it's now. We just hit this current or wave or something just right. Dang it, everybody fell off. Because we all came flying out. Dang. I went under the water and uh, for a second wondered, you know, which way. Dang. I got, you know, kind of a panic. But when I popped up in the water, then it was just a matter of swimming to the raft. And that was cold. I'll tell you that I feel like Matt was a guardian oh angel my today. Goodness. Because before I knew it, he had already turned down and it had grabbed me by the life vest just, just as the guide had instructed us. And he did <laughs> me and on three, boom, just threw me in the boat. Like, I was elite. Oh, that's it good. Was, uh, incredible. I think Clint drank a little more water than anyone else, but we got him back. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. Best rapper. Rapper. That was one yeah, adventure. Different. Was they awesome. all fell off that thing. Last week and then have to fight to stay here. And then for this to be the prize, it was awesome. <laughs> I've been on a lot of raft rides, but that was the wildest ever. Norway rocks. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. This is dream come true. <laughs> Whoa. De fyra deltagarna som är er med i den individuella konkurrensen ska nu få veta vad de må framföra på bygdefesten. Den som gör det dåligt här blir sent hem till USA. I just feel that there's an energy here that's working in my favor. I feel guided by my deep roots ancestors and by those who are still on this land waiting for me to greet them. So I feel good about the competition. This is where the bygdefest will take place tonight. And you guys will get to perform a very special song. It's called Nei så tjukt har blitt. And to help you, we've managed to get hold of the vocalist of Ole Ivars. That's an interesting song. Please welcome Tore Halvorsen. Oh, he didn't come in on a helicopter and everything. Hi. Hello, guys. How are you? I have some lyrics for you here in Norwegian. Take one. Thank you. I'll play the song for you. Who <laughs> 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 so in the den of the planet? So fat as a Christmas pig. So fat you become, huh? you really need to slow down a bit. <laughs> Yeah, how are you? That's funny. One in each of you. And I start with uh, Maya. I'm Maya. Meanwhile, the rest of you can take a CD player and go out and rehearse. Good luck. That's a funny song. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Also do some more gems. I help you please. No, I'll I'll be 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 to be be Good. Very good. Maya okay. talk. a blit. a blit. a the sing dances. My soul. Hoverfless? Hövel. 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 Ja, ö. Kan man säga ö? Ö. 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 Hövel. Ö. 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 Ö
this mist. Deva, länge siden sis, what's that? It's a long time since I saw you. <laughs> long time no see. Nice, so you have blit. Yeah, do you have a pin or the luck for the get? Also, so much so, in so my hover, please. Okay. Herval, Herval, please. No. Herval, please. That's good. It's a really good thing I got that award this week. The most important thing Only is good that thing he saved this week. And you try to get everybody to sing with you. You're the master. <laughs> Ite mer sukkertøy og ite mer ladesleng Ite gulrot opp meg Everybody pulling up Bygdefesten er i gang og taperlagets deltakere skal straks på scenen med Nei, så tjukt du har blitt Vinnerlaget er også på plass for å få med seg festen I'm actually really curious to see how the girls are going to do because I know they each have I mean, Deb like sings in her choir, and you know Maya is an opera singer, yeah. and they each have a Cardi, different style. They have such a different style, but yeah. they're all but they're performers. All yeah. So I'm actually, I think this is really going to be a good interesting. Sit back and relax and enjoy. I'm having a blast practicing. I rewrote all the lyrics um, phonetically so that I wouldn't have to just think too hard. And this is my strategy in this can. <laughs> what is so it? <laughs> <laughs> He's jamming. It's always uh, great being on the winning team and not having to worry about elimination. The, the band was fun to dance and sing along with. You don't expect to hear that kind of music in Norway, I guess, but I enjoyed that. Okay. Oh, who's first? Ved siden av meg her så står det fire personer som ikke skjønner et ord av hva jeg driver med. De er amerikanere, så de skal nå være med på en konkurranse. De skal synge på norsk, og de har hatt veldig liten tid på å øve. Skal vi se igjen? So you got a sign that says sing with me. People involved, and if not, they're going to have a good laugh in there. Oh, my goodness. What's she got? Goodness. I think Dad did a good job. I just laughed. I think I saw this. Oh, I want that spirit award next week too. So I gotta do anything I can to make sure that I compete this task and win that challenge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's Okay. I'm just hoping that I can remember my words without going like a lady, yabada, you know, making up nonsense. Should have forgot the words. <laughs> Oh, 
should have forgot the words a little I bit. I forgot the whole melody. When they started playing dun, 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 I was like, wait. Okay, let's see her. Hey, hey, it's difficult hey. for everyone to get all these words together. Really, I think it's anyone's game. It's whoever's having the most fun, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she probably did the best out of everybody. She jamming them. She's doing some peak noises and everything. <laughs> That's funny. I thought the contestants singing was great. They were all performers and they all gave it a <laughs> special little flavor. They were definitely entertaining. Uh oh. I'm gonna be interested to see. I am really afraid it's of hard to judge this one. This is so Seem beautiful hard. here. I'd like to meet my family. Seem hard to judge right there. Tiden er kommet for Tores dom. Noe som betyr at en av deltagerne må returnere til USA. Joseph har immunitet og kan derfor ikke sendes hjem. Tora, mm. have you reached a decision? Well, I think all of you did a very good performance. So this is very hard. Maya, it was very good to remember the lyrics. You get the audience with you. I think mm. that was very nice. You are safe. <laughs> Oh, I thought the Hi other one. And, uh, Deborah, you both did a wonderful performance. But the one who impressed me the it's most Kari. Kari. was Kari. Kari. <laughs> the pig Deborah, noise saved her. That you Dang, have Deborah. to go back to the States. I'm so sorry. Dang. I can go with you. Sweet. <laughs> 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 Dang. Hers were interesting. As I feel person, like I couldn't hear her, bro. Soul, I, I, she's really nice and really genuine, and I really respect her and like her. So I'm actually going to miss her around here. You guys get bought out there. Go find your family. I know that I won't be able to see my Norwegian family, but to, to me, every back. single one of the people that I was participating with is a part of my family now, as well as all the wonderful people I met were just super. And to me, they're my family. She thinks my legs are sexy. <laughs> I love Deb. She, she was having some hard. fun too. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm glad that it's not me. <laughs> it's time for the Norwegian Spirit Award. Yes. Yay! <laughs> and uh, the purpose of this award is, as you all now know, to honor a person that has shown exceptional Norwegian It's probably going to be Maya. And the one who receives for it eating gets eye and gagging. for next week's competition. And the or person her. that uh, we want to honor this time is a person with a uh, good spirit all the time. He really made the difference oh, when he. his team won the cow competition. And he oh, that guy back there. pulled Clinton out of the water when the raft tipped <laughs> over. <laughs> and he also had an outdoor cold shower with all the sheep watching him. So Matthew, <laughs> congratulations. So Matthew, you are the winner job. of this week's Norwegian Spirit I thought it was going to be the girl with eating an eyeball and I'm all gagging. You deserve it. And Matthew, next week you'll compete like the others, but you can't be eliminated. I'm happy that people thought I should get it. I'm at least one week closer to me and my family. For the rest of you, I have to say congratulations one more time. You have proved that you can survive a life on the Norwegian countryside. Yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I neste uke skal okay, deltakerne okay. vise at de kan leve livet som ekte vikinger. Oh! God dang! I didn't want one of those... WWE moves. I went down the cliff on my ass. So this is what you're gonna kill. Hey, not a chicken. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do though. But no, I enjoyed it. This was good. This was good. Hey, sorry, Deborah. Those singing competitions are tough though. Those singing competitions are tough. Uh, I yeah, they what they look for is is different. It's different. But I enjoyed this. Hope y'all did as well. Like I said, it's on the Patreon without all the editing and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, episode three. This has been good. I've been enjoying this for Norway. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm working on probably doing, trying to do two a week. I'm trying, I'm trying. But that's all I have. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all be blessed, be the best to be you. I'm out.